Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. The first Terror Raid event in lead up to the shiny Rayquaza Terror Raid battle is kicking off this coming weekend. In today's video, we're going to cover all of the details as well as four solo builds that are going to make this event this weekend very easy for you to do in game. So as we know, on the 20th of December, we're going to see a shiny Rayquaza Terror Raid event come to Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. But in the lead up to that, we've got three events that are going to be happening before this one drops the first one of course is going to be happening this weekend it will be starting on friday the 29th of november and running for an entire week until the following thursday the 5th of december will be featuring Corviknight and Bellybolt. These raids are only going to be five stars, so not the most difficult, pretty easy to take down, but we do have an awkward Pokemon in Corviknight. We don't have much reference for the Bellybolt, but in regards to five and six star terror raids, we have seen Corviknight in our game. So we know basically what we're kind of expecting from this Pokemon probably going to have its hidden ability mirror armor which means that we're not going to be able to use stat reducing moves against it like acid spray intimidate anything like screech metal sound like those sort of options and it does have a lot of options to kind of boost its stats as well become very dangerous very quickly the five star raid does have access to horn claws and iron defense so once it gets set up in the raid it's going to be hitting pretty hard with its flying and steel type coverage that it does have access to got to keep an eye out for taunt as well it does have in its regular raids whether or not the event itself will have taunt we'll have to wait and see but belly bolt doesn't have a five or a six star terror raid event in the games so this will be the first time we'll be able to see this Pokemon appearing in a raid event. It will all be appearing in various terror types as well. So not going to be just tied to Corviknight with its steel typing or Belly Bolt with its electric typing. It's going to appear in a wide array of different terror types throughout this weekend. Also joining these terror raid events this weekend is going to be Tinker Tink. It is appearing in Paldea only and it will be running for the same exact time from the 29th of November until the 5th of December and the Tinker Tink in these outbreaks will have the increased chance of having the ferocious mark so it's a nice way to get the shiny with the ferocious mark not the easiest to get but again easy way to get the shiny get a bunch of these Pokemon and especially if they have the ferocious mark also accompanying these Pokemon is going to be outbreaks for Chansey and these are going to be running for the entire period of this Rayquaza event that'll be starting this coming Friday on the 29th of November, running all the way through until the 6th of January. So we've got a lot of time to take part in this one. And this one's geared up to get you more experience points if you need it through these mass outbreaks very easily. So this coming weekend, it is going to be Corviknight and it is going to be Belly Bolt. And the builds that we've prepared in game, in particular for the Corviknight, we've got two builds for the Corviknight and then two builds or the belly bolt. But the builds I've suggested in today's video are all going to be pretty much available in the base games of Scarlet and Violet, so you don't need the DLCs, making them accessible for everyone. Dondozo are going to be a ground terror type. It is going to have the held item of the shell bell. Of course, everything that we feature is going to be level 100 and also hyper trained. The moveset on the Dondozo is going to be Curse, Rain Dance, Earthquake, and Liquidation. And then the most important thing about the Dondozo White can function against the Corviknight is going to be that ability unaware. It's going to ignore any of the stat boosts that the Corviknight takes. The EV spread is going to be very straightforward. Adamant Nature, 252 EVs in HP and in attack with the remainder put into defense. So your Dondozo should look like this, but very straightforward setup. Basic premise going into the raid, curse up three times, use liquidation, earthquake, whatever is preferable against the terror type Corviknight that you're going up against. Then it probably will nullify your stat boost on your side of the field. After that, curse six times and then use the better option after you've trisalized to damage the Corviknight and deal with it pretty effectively. Shell Bell on there going to be recovering your health throughout the raid. And because of the sheer bulk that you've got with the Dondozo, the resistance that you have to those steel type attacks and the the ability to ignore any stat boost that it does gain in the raid through unaware gonna make it very easy might be a bit slow but very consistent way to just run through Corviknight easily this weekend the next build i'm going to suggest for the Corviknight is going to be skeledurge going to have a fire terror type shell bell as the held item and a move set of sunny day shadow ball torch song and flamethrower here the basic idea is going to be just to spam torch song every time you use it it boosts your special attack when your stats have been nullified, you can just go for another set of Torch Songs, set your Sunny Day up, Terrestrialize, and then spam Flamethrower. You've got the Shadow Ball there as coverage. If it is a different Terror type, then the Shadow Ball would be more effective. 
then this will work anywhere. But the big important thing here, again, like the Dondozo, is it has that unaware ability that's going to ignore any of those stat boosts on the Corviknight, making it very easy for you to run through this raid with the Skeledurge. The EV spread is going to be 252 EVs in HP and Special Attack with the Monos Nature and the remainder put into that defense stat. But that's the Skeledurge, that's the Dondozo, not, nothing flash for this raid, but very consistent builds are going to allow you just to run through them very easily this weekend. Now the builds I'm going to suggest for the Belly Ball. The first one is going to be Garchomp, accessible through the base games of Scarlet and Violet, going to have a ground terror typing, Shell Bell as the held item, of course level 100 and Hyper Train, moveset going to be Sword Stance, Outrage, Stone Edge and Earthquake. The reason for this coverage is Garchomp doesn't really get too many other options. I don't think we need Sunny Day in this raid at all. And it just covers the other terror types that Belly Bolt could be. If we see maybe a flying terror type, we can hit it for super effective with the Stone Edge. Uh, if there is a dragon terror type, we've got the Outrage or anything that would be favorable just to hit with Outrage if Earthquake isn't the best option. Rough Skin is the ability, but you can go for Sandville if you prefer. It's not really important in this raid. And the EV spread, pretty straightforward. Again, an adamant nature on the Garchomp with 252 EVs in HP and in attack, with the remainder put into special defense. But the Garchomp should be pretty straightforward again. Remember, these are five star terrors, not six or seven stars, so they should be pretty easy to run through. And Garchomp going to be a great option against the Belly Bolt. Final one I'm going to suggest for Belly Bolt and probably could work against some variants of Corviknight. You just got to be careful. If you take it into Corviknight and you do Terrastalize, you become weak to the drill peck that the Corviknight likely does have. But Iron Hand's going to be great against the Belly Bolt with the electric typing, going to resist those electric type attacks. And for most parts, you're probably not going to need to get to the point where you do Terrastalize against these Pokemon anyway. Level 100, of course, and Hyper Train. The held item is going to be the Scope Lens. The Terra typing is going to be Fighting. This is just to cover the other Terra types, I guess, of Belly Bolt if you want an alternative to the Garchomp. Moveset is going to be Focus Energy, Belly Drum, Thunder Punch and Drain Punch here. Yeah, you could change Thunder Punch to Earthquake as well. It is an option. And then the EV spread is pretty straightforward. 252 EVs in HP and in attack with an Adamant Nature and the remainder put into Special Defense. Of course, the Quark Drive ability can't be changed on the Iron Hands, but a very good build nonetheless. You come into the raid, you're going to go for a Belly Drum. It's going to cut your HP in half going to boost your attack to plus six you're going to go for a focus energy as well that's going to increase the critical hit rate and then when you combine that with the scope lens held item your drain punches or your thunder punches are going to be doing critical hits every time and max damage as well also you've got the recovery from the drain punch so if you are hit and hit with any attacks that are lower on your health and you can recover that off throughout the raid so really nice easy way to run through the raid these are the four builds i would recommend you're going to have no trouble taking these raids down this weekend if you've got this combination of pokemon of course they're all available to the base games of scarlet and violet and there are other options as well that you could use things like ursa luna things like arceus as well but they're not as available as these ones that are just out in paldea easy for you to catch and going to make these events very easy of course if you have your own builds that you think are going to be good or if the event is started and if having a lot of success with them do drop them down in the comment section below it does help out others in the community fortunately i won't be able to cover this week's event live when the event drops because i will be out in stuttgart for the regional championships happening over there this weekend but of course the following events after this leading up to that shiny rayquaza raid i'll be able to cover the live as well as some suggested builds as we lead up to that event dropping hope you found today's video useful friends thank you so much for tuning in as always have a great rest of your day and i will see you all in another video very soon so until then take care and bye bye